Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on how to load a report from Bold Reports Report Server in an ASP.NET Web Forms application. Before getting into the procedure, let's take a look at the Bold Report Server. Bold Report Server is a report management studio provided by SyncFusion that allows users to create, manage, and share reports securely and easily. Our report server provides a built-in REST API service that helps you display the server's reports. In this video, I will show you the steps to create an ASP.NET Web Forms application and the steps to load an already published SSRS RDL report from our report server. First, let's see how to generate the personal access token from the report server. To generate the personal access token, first, you need to log into the Bold Reports report server. You will see the list of reports that are published to the report server. To generate the personal access token, I click the user emoji icon in the left navigation bar. Then I click the user profile. We will be redirected to the My Profile page. I click the personal access token in the top panel. In the Personal Access Token page, I click the Generate Token button. A confirmation dialog is displayed to generate the Personal Access Token. Click the Yes button. We will see the Bearer Token is displayed in the Authentication Token text box. Click the Click to Copy button to copy the generated access token. Now, let's see how to create the ASP.NET Web Forms application. Open Visual Studio 2019 and click Create a New Project. Select ASP.NET Web Application.NET Framework. Click the Next button and change the application name. I named my application Web Forms Report Viewer Report Server. Click the Create button. The Create a new ASP.NET Web Application dialog will open. Select Web Forms. Check Web Forms and Web API. Click the Create button. The ASP.NET Web Forms Web Application is created. Now let's install the NuGet packages. In the Solution Explorer tab, right click the project or solution and choose Manage NuGet Packages. In the Browse tab, search for the boldreports.webforms package and install it in your WebForms application. The boldreports.webforms package contains controls to create the client-side report viewer control. Now let's add the assembly reference. Open the web.config file from the root folder and add the bold reports.web forms assembly reference to the system.web pages control section along with the bold tag prefix the tag prefix attribute associates a prefix with the user control this prefix will be included in the opening tag of the user control element now let's reference the scripts and styles open the site.master file and add the necessary scripts and style sheet. In this video, I am using CDN links to reference scripts and a style sheet, but you can also use local references. The purpose of each script and style sheet is explained in the following table. bold.reports.all.min.css includes the CSS properties for the JavaScript reporting component. The jQuery 1.10.2 script is used to render the Syncfusion JavaScript reporting widgets. ej2base.min.js, ej2data.min.js, ej2pdfexport.min.js, and ej2svgbase.min.js are used to render the gauge item. ej2lineargauge.min.js renders the linear gauge report item. EJ2CircularGauge.min.js renders the circular gauge report item. EJ2Maps.min.js is used to render the map report item. 
ej.chart.min.js renders the chart report item. bold.reports.common.min.js, bold.reports.widgets.min.js, and bold.reportviewer.min.js are required to render the bold reports report viewer. Since we have already added the jQuery script reference in the head tag, I am removing the jQuery script reference from the body tag. Now let's initialize the report viewer control. I open the default.aspx file. Add the div element inside the ASP content tag and assign the style attribute inside the div element. Inside the div element, I initialize the report viewer control and assign the ID for the report viewer control. The ID attribute specifies the unique name for the report viewer control. For this demo, I assign the value viewer for the ID attribute. To render the report, set the report service URL, report server URL, service authorization token, and report path properties to the report viewer widget. Inside the bold report viewer tag, I enter the value for report service URL. The report service URL specifies the web API service URL. The service URL contains the server name, service name, and REST API name. The format of the report service URL is http colon slash slash report server name slash reporting slash report service slash API slash viewer. In this demo, I have hosted the report server on my local machine. So I have specified the report server name as localhost along with the port number in which I am hosting it. You can use your own report server name. Reporting slash report service represents the service name of the report server. API slash viewer represents the web API name of the report server. Then I enter the value for the report server URL inside the bold report viewer tag. The report server URL specifies the server name and site information. The format of the report server URL is http colon slash slash report server name slash reporting slash API slash site slash site name. In this demo, I have set the report server name as localhost along with the port number in which it is hosted. You can use your own report server name. Site slash site one represents the site from which we are going to load the report in the report viewer control. Since I have kept my report in site 1, I specified site slash site 1. You can specify your own site's name. Then I enter the service authorization token inside the bold report viewer tag. The service authorization token specifies the personal authorization token, which is already copied from the report server. Then I assign the value for report path inside the bold report viewer tag. The report path specifies the path in which the RDL report file is published in the report server. Here I am using the sales order detail RDL report from the server location. This report is published in the sample reports category. Save the file. Now, everything is ready to preview the embedded report. To preview the report, build and run the application. You can see the sales order details report is loaded in the bold report viewer. Let's briefly cover the procedure for loading a report from the cloud report server. The steps that need to be followed are the same, but the report service URL and the report server URL will differ based on your cloud server configuration. I have shared our cloud reporting sample report service URL and report server URL in the presentation. Since the service for cloud reporting is hosted separately, reporting slash report service is not set in the report service URL. And since multi-tenancy is not supported in the cloud reporting server, the site information is not required in the report server URL. You also need to generate the service authorization token from the cloud report server and add it in the application. And the path of the report we want to render in the report viewer. 
I have provided the documentation link in the video's description for your convenience. In this video, we learned how to load the report from the Bold Reports report server in an ASP.NET Web Forms application, using the Report Viewer Control. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on Bold Reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.